What up, my good people? It's your girl, Lamilly Janae, and I'm coming to you on Tuesday, June the 30th, uh, payday for me. I don't know about y'all. Um, with your hot topics for the No Advisory Podcast. All right. So if you want to know the Tuesday scoop, stay tuned. Spun? So let's jump right into this. First of all, before I get started, I just want to congratulate Jada Kiss and Fabulous for representing for New York last night during the versus battle. It was a lot of good vibes. Um, a lot of good hits were played that I even forgot existed from both sides. All right. Um, and let me just say this: if I'm not as turned as Jada Kiss was at my next event, what is the point of being turned? Okay, so I need that kind of energy, you know, no cares given whatsoever. Anyway, moving on. To, but anyway, like, so congratulate to them too. Shout out to New York. I mean, you, keep up the good work, y'all. Give them their roses while they still here. Both of them. All right, so moving on. Y'all know rapper Trippy Red. Well, I'm just going to keep real. I ain't even know him. But... Rapper Trippy Red was just recently uh, caught in his friend's live. You know how your friend go live and you really don't know they're live? So you start making some um, comments in the background and now it's all on social media because your friend went live without telling you. So that's kind of what happened. So Trippy Red, uh, Wattpad, was in the background while his friend was live and he made the comment, Nicki Minaj fell off. And you know, once that got out, a lot of people... Some people were defending him, like, you know what, the girl did fall off. She had to come back, she had to come out with a track uh, with Takashi 6 9 to be relevant again. So, you know, that's what some people say. That's not what I was saying, that's what some people were saying. Then you have some people um, that were getting on his case, like, Trippy, who, who are you to tell somebody that they fell off? All right. And, but Trippy came back and he addressed what he said. And basically, you guys, he is a man of his word and he ain't stepping down. He said, yes, I said what I said. If the girl fell off, the girl fell off. So good job, Trippy, for sticking up, you know, sticking behind that word. That's that's what we all need to do, okay? Um, not saying I agree with him, but I just liked it. You know, he went back and down from that. Anyway, moving on. Speaking of people not being happy with uh, things and stuff, <sighs> y'all, Pop Smoke's album, I know y'all seen it already, the album cover. His album is due to be released. Uh, rest in peace to Pop Smoke. But people are not happy with his album cover. So, fashion designer, DJ, uh, extra, yeah. Mr. Virgil himself designed this cover. And for somebody to his caliber, we were expecting a lot more from him. And what we got was not so much. I think it was even a petition going around uh, that said, you gonna really have to change this. A lot of people were cracking jokes, including 50 Cent himself. So y'all, I don't know. What y'all think? But he did say in his offense, he said he designed this album cover based off of a previous conversation that him and Pop Smoke had, um, you know, about how he came up, where he came from, like his, you know. So I believe he had good intentions, but they were just not received well, okay? But I feel like the second album cover, the second try is going to be awesome. All right, moving on, y'all. First, I had something to say about August Alcina. But now I got a whole nother story about August Alcina. I was going to report how Joe Budden called August Alcina. He said he liked the man musically, but as a person, he thinks he is messy. And then Joe Budden, um, no, August responded with like, how are you going to call me messy if you don't even know, you don't even know who I am? Like, you don't even know me personally, which is true. Like, Joe, where you get that from? 
But Lord Jesus, I was just recently minding my business and came across a video, uh, an interview that Angela Yee and August Hasina did. And somehow he didn't confuse everybody because he said, Will Smith gave him permission to have the relationship he has with Miss Jada Pickett Smith. Now, I don't know, y'all know this has been going on for like a couple of years now. There were some rumors that them two were like kind of messing with each other. And then, you know, we've been here for years that Will and Jada had an open relationship. I don't know if that's true or not, but I think they, I don't know. But it's kind of weird. And now you like, we, I had permission from her husband to have this relationship with her and if i die today i'm happy that our relationship it was i don't know it caught me left field okay so oh jesus you know what at this point i don't know what's going on let's we we praying for everybody. Y'all, before I go, because I'm taking too much of your time, before I go, I just want to say a birthday shout out to Miss uh, Fantasia. You're one of the one women, one of my favorites who can sing better than anything, okay? Happy 36th birthday to you, boo. You are looking good. You are, you know, singing good. You just, you know what? And as y'all probably seen last night on uh, T.I.'s Family Hustle Show, Toya Johnson, which is the ex-wife of little, well, not, yeah, I guess, baby mama, ex-wife, you know, Lil Wayne, Regina Carter's mama. Um, she got engaged. I think she'd been engaged for a while, but it just aired. So, congratulations to Toya Johnson. She's engaged to uh, Robert Rushing. And they are so good together on that show. And I just, I just wish them peace and happiness because, you know, black love is in, you know. Black love, August Alcina and Jada. I mean, you know, we just all loving her over here, okay? Love anybody. I don't know. Y'all, that's all I got to say for today. It's your girl, Amelia Janae, and I'll catch you tomorrow with your Wednesday news, 1st of July. Um, all right, peace out.